Genesis chapter 17 unveils a pivotal moment in the life of Abraham, now called Abraham, as God establishes an everlasting covenant with him and his descendants. At the age of 99, God appears to Abraham and reaffirms his promise to make him the father of many nations. In this encounter, God changes Abram's name to Abraham, signifying his new identity as the father of a multitude. God also institutes the practice of circumcision as a physical sign of the covenant between himself and Abraham's descendants. Furthermore, God promises Abraham and his wife Sarah that they will have a son, despite their old age. God renames Sarah, previously known as Sarai, and assures Abraham that she will become the mother of nations. Overwhelmed by this revelation, Abraham falls on his face in worship. God reveals that Sarah will conceive and bear a son named Isaac, and he reaffirms his covenant to bless Abraham and make his descendants a great nation. Genesis chapter 17 highlights several significant points. Firstly, it emphasizes the faithfulness and sovereignty of God in fulfilling his promises, even in seemingly impossible circumstances. Secondly, it underscores the significance of circumcision as a physical symbol of the covenant relationship between God and Abraham's descendants. The chapter also establishes the name changes of both Abraham and Sarah, signifying their new roles and identities within God's plan. Moreover, it further solidifies the lineage through which the Messiah will come, as Isaac will be the child of promise. Abraham's humble posture of worship exemplifies his trust and reverence for God's plan. The chapter serves as a milestone in the narrative deepening the covenant relationship between God and Abraham and setting the stage for the fulfillment of God's promises in the generations to come.